Hi guys, it's Jamie with Not Too Shabby. I'm glad you stopped by. Did you check out the YouTube hop yesterday? Wow, it was amazing. The design team has provided so many examples and ideas, so much inspiration. You gotta check it out. There's a giveaway as well. Um, the inspiration is for the brand new box of the month for Not Too Shabby. The box is called Artsy Girls. And it is just so fun to play with. We're gonna make a card today, a slimline card using the cat scrappiness tri frame slimline die set. Now, I do have one left in the shop, so I'll have it linked below if you're interested. So, what I'm doing is um, building up my frame. I do want a couple layers there so it kind of lifts off the page because I'm going to put an insert in there. I'm going to be using a Spellbinders edge die. Now you can use like a hill die or any edge die that you have. So this card is going to come together really, really quickly. We are using these two stamp sets from the Artsy Girls box. One is Brighten Your Day and the other one is Color My World. They go perfectly together. So I'm going to use them both on this card. Now you can pick up the box over at Not Too Shabby. I'll have the link in the description box for you. There's a couple options. You can check out as a one-time purchase or you can change the frequency to monthly and that'll reserve your box each month and it'll get automatically shipped. Plus you'll save an extra 5% off. So I'm just gluing on the frame, making sure that's down. And then we're going to add that hill. So the hill is gonna give me a place to kind of ground all my images. So first I'm going to play around with all my images to make sure everything is fitting where I want it, um, making sure that I have a space for my sentiment before I start gluing everything down. Now I do add some foam tape to some of the images so some are popped up and some are glued straight onto the card. Now I did lose a lot of footage so you don't see me actually gluing down all the images, but I will have a still photo at the end so you can see how the card turned out. So I decided to use the sentiment, live life colorfully, and I wanted it to curve around that hill. So I'm gonna take out my Misty and position that sentiment so it snugs up against that hill with a curve. Just keep playing with the position until you get it right, and then you will have a curved sentiment. So I think that turned out really cute. So I'm gonna use my favorite black ink to ink up my sentiment, and then give it a nice press. And then we have our nice curved sentiment there. So now that's done, I'm gonna glue in my inside pieces back into my frame and then work on assembling all the images. So I'm gonna have a still photo at the end so you can see how the card turned out. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you guys enjoyed this card and I hope you enjoyed the hop. Don't forget to um, comment on all the videos and then go back to my rafflecopter link to enter into that giveaway. So I will talk to you guys real soon. Um, let me know in the comments box down below what is your favorite item from the new box of the month. I'd love to hear. So take care guys. See you next time.